Welcome back to this week's video. We are insulating the cabin and putting up vapor barrier. We also have some really exciting news to share. So we're officially putting in the insulation. Uh, the outside is not 100% done, but it's dark. Uh, it is fully dry in here though. Uh, there's no rain in sight in the next few days. Um, and even if it did rain, um, we're dried in enough. Things are closed in enough that we can start putting in insulation. Hopefully we can get some of this done as quick as possible. It's not gonna be 100% done done, but we're gonna essentially, we're gonna essentially start shoving in our bats and stapling vapor barrier over top just to hold it in for now. Uh, and then we'll go back and do the finishing touches after. It's official. The insulation is going in. You can barely tell from here with the same color insulation as OSB, but it started. This is exciting because uh, we need to be in here within the next few weeks, really. Uh, with insulation in, wood stove installed, and a mattress on the floor, essentially. I think we'll be able to do it. We just might have some late nights ahead of us. Megan's making her first shelf. This is essentially going to be a storage shelf in a woodshed, or not a woodshed. It's going to essentially be a storage shelf in our storage shed at one point. Um, but for now, it's going to be one of our first storage units inside the cabin. Maybe, yeah, probably against this kitchen wall for a little while. Go ahead. Okay, so it has been a few hours and it is clearly now dark outside. Um, the boys are both asleep and before they get to sleep, I started the plastic here on this wall. So the two side walls, the short walls um, are almost done. I still have a few, uh, few staples to put up on that one. And then starting on the back wall to get the plastic up along the back wall. And then what I need to do after that is essentially the blocking that I'm gonna use as essentially my wall partition for the side wall that's gonna come out here that's gonna divide the living room, kitchen, and our bedroom. So that's the, the goal for tonight. And then after that, all, of, all the insulation that I have left here, so all that insulation and then that bag of insulation um, need to be stuffed up into the ceiling but I don't have a way to hold it up there right now unless I was to staple up plastic, but I don't think I'm gonna have enough plastic. So, all right, let's get to it. All right, so I know that putting tech tape over the seams of the windows is probably not conventional. Um, what we're really looking to do is have this place as airtight and um, draft tight as possible. All right, everybody, we're gonna take a quick break from the insulating because we have some exciting news to share. We've been lucky enough to partner with Blue Eddy this week we're sharing with you the AC 180. So we are currently in the cabin. I know our videos aren't at that point yet. The AC 180 has an 1800 running watt capacity, meaning it can it can run pretty much any household item. 
We run our fridge off of it sometimes, as well as a toaster. A toaster pulls up to 900 watts. Now it might pull down the battery about 5% to use a toaster, but you recharge it later that day. Not only that, it has 1152 watt hour capacity, so this battery lasts quite a while. If we're just charging things uh, like our phones and our battery operated lamps and all those things, this thing would last days, maybe even weeks without having to recharge it. Some of its main features are the five USB ports on this side. So if you click it on, you turn it on and you turn on the direct current side, uh, which means it doesn't have to invert the power. Therefore, you're saving, you're saving some of the power you're using. Um, you're using it directly, not having to invert it. You can charge things through the normal, uh, four normal USB ports and then the one USB-C port. And those are awesome. So we are, we almost always have these maxed out charging our lamps, our battery operated fan, so many things, phones. Uh, there's so many things that we charge off this. Then on this side we have four um, 120 volt um, outlets. They, so they're, they're 120 volt, 15 amps, so they can do 1800 watts. We plug in some extension cords and run a few lights on the ceiling using this and it's awesome. Now one of the cool things about something like this um, compared to just setting up normal solar batteries, etc., is that there's four ways to charge this thing and they're all super easy. Now obviously one of them would just be to plug into your normal household outlet, which we don't have, but when you do plug it into the normal 120 volt um, outlet at your home, this only takes 45 minutes to charge from zero to 80%. It can also charge via the 12 volt, um, the 12 volt plug in your vehicle, which we've done, and it pulls around 100 watts when you're doing that. So if you're just looking to uh, top up the battery or you are out of power and you're going to work or something like that, you could definitely charge it in the car pretty easily. Now it also can charge off of solar, obviously, which we don't have yet, but clearly the plan here at this off-grid cabin is to get solar set up. It just wasn't the priority this fall. Uh, we may even get to it in the winter if we, if we feel that we're able to. But this can run up to 500 watts of solar um, so it can charge this in a few hours, probably three to four hours, um, in the sun, which would be awesome. So even here in the winter, if we have a sunny winter day, we'd be able to charge this fully off solar. Now what we do use to charge this is just our generator. So we have our Furman 3550, uh, running watt generator, and we have a couple extension cords that we've run into the house. Um, and inside we charge this in our other battery pack simultaneously off the generator. Now, because our generator is just a normal generator, uh, it doesn't have a pure sine, um, sine wave. So this thing doesn't really like that on the turbo or on the, on the fast charging setting. So one of the really awesome things about that is that you can turn it in the app down to the silent charge and it will charge this using pulling about 400 watts. So it takes a little bit longer, but you can charge it on anything. And so, if you want to charge it quick, you do need potentially a different generator or solar or just a normal outlet and you can charge this thing super quick. Otherwise, it has the option to charge off of a, a normal generator um, that doesn't quite produce clean power or a pure sine wave and you're good to go. Now the cool thing about that is all you have to do is download the Blue Eddy app, add in your device, and when you get on there and you're close to the Blue Eddy, we'll turn on the Blue Eddy and show you. Once it's turned on, the Blue Eddy um, app should connect via Bluetooth. And when that's possible, it'll tell you all the information you need. If you're charging it, it'll tell you how many watts are coming in. If you're simultaneously pulling out of it, then it'll tell you how many watts are coming out. Um, it'll tell you whether that's direct current or AC all those things. So in this app is where I can go and change the setting that if I want to do it um, on the turbo charger, on the normal charge, I can change that in here. And like I said, on our generator, we have to have it on the silent charge, but that's okay. Cause all I have to do is go in this app and change it. And uh, it's super user friendly. So thanks so much to Blue Eddy for partnering with us and helping us get power here at the off grid cabin. Let's get back to insulating so we can get closer to sharing with you where we're at now. All right, everybody, another update from another day. Um, last night and today, I've got to putting the vapor barrier up pretty much the whole way around um, of the cabin. I'm up to right here, the patio door behind me. Knock, knock, hello. 
Moneyin. <laughs> Hi. This is the vibe of today. It's a great way to get rid of our scraps, though. We have scraps laying everywhere. We need to write in this note. But now that they're home, I have my vapor barrier to finish the last section. So we're going to get to it and get this thing fully vapor barriered and uh, ready for the next step. If you're interested in the Blue Eddy AC180, follow the link in our description. Thank you for watching and supporting our channel. We'll see you in the next one.